I'm Hilary Mulek, a wedding photographer based in the Carolinas, and I love using this channel to educate other photographers on photography and business. This week's topic is going to be how to know when to go full time with your wedding photography business. So for me, I started my wedding photography business in 2013. I had been second shooting for about a year before that, doing mentoring sessions, and I shot my first wedding as a primary photographer in 2013. I had six other weddings that I photographed within the next year as a primary shooter in addition to lots of second shooting and mentoring sessions. In 2014, because in 2013 I was living in Utah, so in 2014 my husband and I actually relocated to Pennsylvania and of course I was starting my wedding photography business kind of from scratch again because I was in a whole new state. I did not have any clients in this area. So for the next two years, I worked part-time at a school district with my degree that I got from college. And in the meantime, I was doing lots of second shooting, booking weddings. I think I shot maybe four weddings that I had booked within that first year when I moved there in 2014. And then I think I had six weddings of my own in 2015. And then it was that at that point that with all of my second shooting, I started associate shooting for a company out of Philadelphia. And then I think that following year in 2016, I think I had 15 of my own weddings. And in the meantime, I was still working part-time at a school district. I think I was working like 30 hours a week or something like that at the school district. And and in 2016, it got to a point to where between all the associate shooting that I was doing, the second shooting, the weddings that I had booked, I was pretty much matching my income that I was getting from the school district. And it was at that point that I thought, okay, I am currently matching my salary that I have at the school district. So I know if I quit the school district, I would still be making the same amount of money with just my photography that I would currently that I would be making at the school district. And then I looked into my following year, I was using HoneyBook, my client management system at this point, so I could look and see my projected numbers of the income that I will be making within the next year of the current weddings that I had booked, current associate weddings that I had booked. And so I can easily know, okay, is my salary that I'm making this year with photography going to continue into next year and I'll be continuing to match or make more money than I would be making at the school district. District. And because that was the case, I was going to be continuing to either hold that amount that I was making with photography or growing it, like shooting more weddings, then I knew that this was the time that I was going to quit my part-time job at the school district and just pursue wedding photography full-time. So that's kind of my journey and how my wedding business started and how I was working part-time at the school district, part-time with photography, and then I slowly transitioned into working full-time as a wedding photographer. So with all that in mind, I wanna talk about some things that you can think about if you are currently doing part-time another job and just wanting to go full-time into wedding photography. So the first thing I want you to think about is what is your income that you are making at your current job, the job that is not photography, and what is your income that you're currently making in your photography job? Are those incomes matching? Are you making a little bit more with wedding photography? Because I think the safest thing that you can do is once your photography matches your other job, then that's a good indicator that maybe it's time, if you wanna go full-time with your wedding photography, maybe now it's time to quit that other job and start pers pursuing wedding photography full-time if both of those incomes are matching up. Because we know that in order to grow our photography businesses, we need to put all of our effort into it. And it's hard to put all of our effort into it when we are keeping this other job here on the side. So even though it's so scary to quit that job and go full-time with photography, just know in your gut that as long as you are currently making about the same amount with both, that once you get rid of this one and start taking that time that you were spending at this other job and really devoting it into growing your wedding photography business, that photography business is going to grow and make you more money in the future. The second thing that I want you to look at is I want you to look at your projected weddings and things that you have on the calendar for photography the upcoming year. So I know right now you might be matching income with both your 
job that is not photography and your photography job. But in order to be on the safe side, I want you to look further into the future for photography. Do you currently have X amount of weddings that are booked for this upcoming year? Is that the same amount of weddings that you had booked for this year? And I just want you to make sure that you are on track to continue either to shoot the same amount as you are currently shooting with your wedding photography business or on track to grow and actually shoot more weddings so that you are making more income with wedding photography and being able to sustain your current lifestyle once you get rid of that side job. Another thing you can look at is look at your client management system. So I use HoneyBook. HoneyBook is what I use to track all of the income that I have coming in for upcoming weddings, upcoming sessions and projects that I have currently on the calendar. And I can actually look and see what my income is going to be with what I currently have booked. You can also do this if you don't have a client management system. If you can't afford it, you can also do this through a Google spreadsheet or something like that. Just put in all of the weddings that you have on the book for now that you have not shot yet, either for this year or the upcoming years, and just know what your projected income is going to be and how many weddings you need to shoot in order, in order to sustain your lifestyle so that you don't have to have that side job anymore. If you don't have a client management system and you are ready to get one, I do highly recommend HoneyBook. It, I've been using it for like eight years now, and it's where I send all of my proposals, contracts, invoices, collect payments, and it tracks reports for me so that I can look and see um, what I currently have on the books for right now, when I have payments coming in, and what my projected numbers are for the future on what I currently have booked for my photography business. The last thing you can do if you are unsure if you want to quit your current job in order to go full-time wedding photography, is you can talk to your accountant or a CPA. Whoever is currently doing your taxes and has a good idea of the numbers of your income and the numbers that you're going to need in order to pay taxes and all of that, you can talk to someone who is currently familiar with your financial situation and just say, hey, this is what I'm currently thinking about doing. This is how much I'm making at my current job. This is how much I'm making in my photography business. If I continue in the trajectory that I'm going in with my photography business, do you think I would be able to quit my other job and be able to go full-time wedding photography. And they'll be able to give you some really good solid numbers and information statistics to help you make that decision on if now is the right time to go full-time wedding photography. I hope this information was helpful for you if you are thinking about going full-time with your wedding photography business. If you have any questions at all, you can definitely drop a comment down below or you're free to personally email me. I'll put my email down in the description below. Also, like I mentioned earlier, if you are interested in a client management system, you can actually try HoneyBook, my client management system, for free. There's a free trial and then if you decide to sign up for it, there's a discount code in there as well, which can be super helpful. Thank you again for for watching and I'll see you again next week for another YouTube episode. Bye guys.